All right, so it's been a long journey, but we only have two stages of Extreme Super Battle left, and today we are going to be taking on stage 29, which is full power. Now, when you take a look at the available leaders for this category, they're not the most promising, right? I believe the main full power leads are the Fizz DBS Broly and the Tech Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, neither of which are any good for Extreme Super Battle Road because their defense is just so awful, right? But luckily, you can go for something like this with double LR Jiren leads and basically just bring a Universe Survival Saga team. So that's exactly what we have here. We got the two Tech LR Jirens, we got the LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, LR Blue Boys, uh, the Tech Goku and Frieza, the uh, LR Kale and Khalifla, and also the Max Power Master Roshi. So, uh, a pretty solid team, in my opinion. It's definitely feeling good about this run. The items are the same as we always use. And uh, with that said, let's jump in. Two stages to go. After this, we only have uh, androids, and then we are completely done. So, First fight, we got the uh, two duos. We got the Tien and Chiaotzu, as well as the uh, Yamcha and Puar. And in terms of rotations, I haven't really thought about it too much, but I think I'm actually going to do Jiren and Goku and Frieza as one rotation. And the other one will be probably SSB Vegeta and uh, the Blue Boys or something like that. Okay, so first things first, let's pop... A Whis. Defensively, I think the Jiren should be okay. Yeah, more than okay. 188,000. That's awesome. So, let's see. Uh, let's give these to Jiren. And that's going to be a nice 18 key super for the Goku and Frieza. And then uh, we'll give five orbs to the Vegeta. Now, I feel like this should be enough to actually kill Tian and Jiaotzu, or at least hopefully, but we'll see how uh, much HP they have here. Oh yeah, no, we should be good. We should be good. Because that's going to be a nice super right there. And if we crit, then they're definitely dead. If we don't crit, then they're going to be very close to uh, to death. Oh, never mind. Okay, I, I overestimated <laughs> how hard they would hit, but still, that, that was some good damage. And Vegeta should definitely finish them off. No question. Oh! Alright, so... It's not going to be as easy as I was hoping it would be. But I feel like it's still going to be pretty easy, nonetheless. Uh, wow. <laughs> I was expecting to actually take some real damage with that super, because I was like, it's type advantage, right? Like, it's it's Fizz against my int SSBE. I thought he was going to take at least, like, 30k, 50k, but nah, apparently not. Apparently not. Okay, um, let me see. I guess if we're going to pair the blue boys up with SSBE, then we should just leave the rotation like this. Um, let's finish off Jiren first, or sorry, use Jiren to finish off the Tiena Chiaotzu, and then we will get an ATK super for the Blue Boys, and unfortunately no super for Roshi, but he's still going to be able to do some decent damage, I think. Okay, for a second, I thought they were still alive. I was like, yo, how can this happen to me in back-to-back -back videos? Like, if you guys missed yesterday's video, I basically um, had so many times where I left each enemy with, like, a tiny sliver of HP. And that actually made the run a lot harder than it had to be. Because uh, I would have to spend, like, an extra turn and maybe, like, use an extra item just to stay alive for one more phase. And it was super annoying, man. I was like, yo, if I had just, like, slightly better RNG and like actually kill these guys, then it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be chill, right? But nah, it just like kept happening over and over again. I was getting super frustrated, but either way, that's over now. We, uh, you know, 
we got it done, and that's all that matters. Oh crap! Uh, it was too late, man. I saw there was an option to get an 18 key super, but unfortunately, I already clicked the orbs, so that's my bad, guys. We're gonna miss out on a lot of damage here, but I don't think it really matters because I think we're still gonna kill Yam yeah, Trenpar anyways with the uh, Go Frieza, so. Yeah, moving on, moving on. Pretty efficient so far. And that is the first fight. Second fight looks like we have Gohan and Videl. And uh, Goten and Trunks. Alright, so we're going to do Blue Boys. Actually, hmm, maybe we float the Blue Boys. Let's do SSBE and uh, Jiren because it's their defense. It's just so good, right? So, let's do SSBE. Ah, uh, hold on. Let me think about this. Let me think about this for a second. So, I'm going to pop an Icarus first. And then, I think I'm going to put Jiren in the first slot. Not because he's going to be a better tank. Because, obviously, SSB Vegeta is going to get more damage reduction. But, um, I want Jiren to actually get more key from taking those hits. So... Okay, I, I pointed this out a lot. I've pointed this out a lot. This is not new to a lot of you guys, but why is Jiren's sprite so damn small, guys? I mean, if I remember correctly, he was pretty big in the show. Um, he was one of the bigger guys in, in Dragon Ball Super. So why is he so small compared to, like, literally everyone else? I just don't understand. Like, it's such a weird thing. But he's, he's tiny. Look at him compared to Vegeta. Look at him compared to Vegeta and Goku. Like, he's just... A little boy. Anyways, um, <laughs> let's keep it going here. I'm gonna give these to Jiren. Uh, let's give, let's give these, I guess, to Vegeta, and then uh, those for uh, for Blue Boys. Um, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, or Super Saiyan Blue Kakin Goku, and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. I call them Blue Boys so often now that I actually forgot what they're actually called, like what the actual characters are. But yeah, it's Super Saiyan Blue Kakin Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Wow, we did not do much damage there. We're getting supered here. We luckily have an Icarus, so it's not bad. It's not bad. I can live with that. Okay, back to back supers, I see. All right. Uh, should still be okay, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Everything's all right. I will probably have to use another item next turn. Um, I might pop a... I, mean, I don't think we actually have to, to be honest, but I might still do it just to be safe. No, I think we're fine, actually. No items needed. He's already got super twice this turn. There's no way, way we're gonna get super twice again, right? So the worst thing that can happen is we get super one more time. And in that case, it's not really that big of a deal. Okay, so let's give these to Jiren. Um, oh, that sucks. Just missing that 18 key super. In fact, I'm going to give that to the Goku and Frieza so we can get a 18 key super for the LR Master Roshi. I think that makes a lot more sense. If only we had one more hit, man. Could have been an 18 key super. But that's just how it is sometimes. <sighs> okay, so like, even without an 18 key super, they still hit okay. You know, like, they still do okay damage. They still hit decently hard. But it just would have been so much nicer if we got that, uh, you know, like, 6, 7 mil attacks that. All right, so Master Roshi finally able to do some damage here with his 18 key, and that was pretty nice. That was pretty nice. It would have been great to finish off the Goten and Trunks, but you know, I can't, I can't complain too much. Um, we have his active skill here. Let me see exactly what it does. It's been a while. Uh, oh, right, it stuns enemies too, which is awesome. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that. And I think he has a similar super or active sequel animation to um, LR Broly. Yeah, he just kind of like powers up. 
There we go. Okay, so uh, both guys are stunned now. We don't have to worry about anything this turn. I'm gonna give an 18 key super to Jiren, because that's gonna be nice. And then we got uh, some supers for these LRs too. And let's see what they do. Okay, so Jiren got 6.1. An additional super would be great. Take advantage of the boosted attack. Ah, <sighs> unfortunately no additional super. We did get an additional attack, which is useless. I mean, it's just kind of a tease, right? It's like, yo, you could have gotten an additional super attack, but instead you got a normal attack, so you did like 10% of the damage that you could have done. It's okay, though. Okay, though. <laughs> All right, so getting some additional attacks for killing Khalifa right now, very good. And I'm gonna pop the Jiren active skill one more time, just so we can guarantee our victory. I mean, we're gonna win either way, right? There's no chance that they're gonna, like, we're not gonna make it. But nonetheless, I like guarantees. I like the fact that, you know, we know we got this when we pop the active skill. So there you go. And that should do it, guys. For, for this round, that is. We still got one more. But I don't really expect things to get any harder but we'll see we'll see okay oh whoa i swear they were dead i could have swore they died but that's fine it's gonna take a extra 10 seconds to move on and now we are on the last fight here it looks like we got the goku and vegeta and uh the saiya man so okay so Let's do, ooh, let's see, um, I guess I'll put Jiren in the first slot. Let's pop the Whis again. So far, it's just been one item per, per stage, right? Yeah, one item per stage, one, or rather one item per fight, which is a pretty good rate, honestly. And let's do, uh, I mean, this could be an 18 key super for Roshi. But then again, I want to make sure I get supers off for everybody else. So, okay, let's go for this for the Jiren. And then we will give uh, these two Vegeta. And unfortunately, it does not look like we can really give a nice super to Roshi. But you can still stun. So that's really all I'm asking for. I don't I don't need much damage from him. I just need him to to stun if he if he can. And also get some dodges, possibly, because that's a decent amount of attacks at the end. There's like four or five at the end, so if he can dodge like half of those, especially a super, that would be fantastic. Yeah, that would be fantastic. But I gotta say guys, this this stage has been uh kind of a joke. <laughs> It's been kind of a breeze. I mean, like, for, you know, Super Battle Road standards, like, extreme Super Battle Road standards, it's been really chill, man. Um, I don't know if, like, they maybe didn't account for the fact that you could run, uh, like, a Universe Survival Saga team and make it much easier compared to, uh, oh, crap, what am I doing? Dude, I was not paying attention. I should have switched the targets, but I, I, I messed up. I gotta say I messed up. All right, well, it is what it is. You know, things happen, stuff happens. And uh, yeah, that was not very smart of me. Luckily we got the crit. So I actually didn't make that much of a difference. Um, but what was I saying before? The point I was trying to make is like this stage is surprisingly easy, right? And it's I think because maybe they thought people would bring full power Super Saiyan 4 Gokus as leaders or DBS Brolies as leaders, in which case, yeah, it would be a lot harder because those guys take a lot of damage. Right? But if you're running a team like this, then uh you're gonna dominate, man. And this is exactly what we're doing. We are just wrecking uh every state every phase so far um might be the easiest stage so far if it wasn't for the fact that 
Ginyu Force was such a joke, you know? Like, I thought Ginyu Force, even though it was like a free-to-play category, was still gonna be tough, you know, relatively speaking. And, uh, nah, it was not tough at all. Like, not even close. So, yeah, anyways. Let's pop the Princess Snake here. And I kinda... Hmm... I kind of want to keep the blue boys in rotation, but I think the safe route is to go like this, but why do we need to play it safe, right? It's been like really chill, so. Um, nah, you know what? This is this is what's been giving us success this entire time, so I might as well just uh, keep it going with this setup here. And we have a Dokkan attack, which is nice, but unfortunately, I don't think Jiren's gonna be doing that. I mean, he's got over three mil. It's not bad. It's not. <sighs> Yo, I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to jinx it. But it was. I was like, Yo, we're getting all of these uh, these circles, man. We're getting all of them, you know, like perfect. And then I had to fail the last one. I had to fail the last one. Ah, that's rough. That is rough. Okay, so getting big banged again. Hamihamiha slash big bang attack. <laughs> and that's okay. As Vegeta, I think, will get revenge for us. If you give me like one additional Superman, it should be good. Come on. Come on. One more super. One. <sighs> that's fine. That's fine. It's okay. This should take out the Goku and Vegeta, and then we only have the uh, Saiyamans to worry about. And, oh, just kidding. Of course. Of course. It's always how, that's always how it goes, guys. It's always how it goes. Okay, well, I guess this time we have to pop one more item just to, uh, you know, guarantee our success, our victory here. And I'm going uh, to use Jiren to take out... Goku and Frieza, and then we should just be worrying about the uh, Saiyamans, so there we go. And this run will be over very shortly, guys. It's actually taking me a lot longer than I thought it would, just based on, like, you know, how chill the uh, first couple of fights were, but I guess maybe because it's early in the morning, I'm still not fully awake yet. Maybe I'm just trying to play it safe to make sure I actually get this video done. I do have to go somewhere right after this, so... Um, yeah, if I died, it would be very unfortunate, because I don't think I have time to re-record it, right? So, yeah, better safe than sorry. Um, that is 9 out of 10 stages that we've completed now. 9 down, 1 to go, androids coming maybe later today, if not, then tomorrow at the latest. And, uh... Yeah, after that, we'll be completely done, man. It's been, like I said, a, a great journey. Um, I really enjoyed it, to be honest. Like, I would say Extreme to Rad Road is my favorite event in the entire game just because of the challenge it provides. Um, I also really like the Gods of Destruction event, honestly, because that one's, like, also pretty decently hard. At least when it first came out, it was pretty decently challenging. Um, but yeah, man. Yeah, we only got one more to go, so I'm going to try to extend this run as much as possible <laughs> by popping a couple of active skills. That's because uh, I'm not ready to let go yet, you know? So, here we go. Now we are good to go. Let's get a nice 18 key super for our final attack. We got our shirtless Vegeta too. Unfortunately, he's not going to get a chance to attack. And uh, there you go, guys. Final super from Jiren, 6.1 mil. And that's going to be a crit. And they're dead. Nice KO screen too. And that is how we're going to conclude full power extreme super bad road. That was easy. That was easy. If there was like that little red button. Was it Staples? I think it's a Staples commercial, right? Or like it's like a button and then people just hit it. And it says that was easy. I would hit that button if that was the that was thing. But uh, there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. The full power run. Once again, that's nine down, one to go. I will see you in the next video very soon, either tonight 
or tomorrow. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.